All right, welcome to my first gym voiceover video. Uh, so this will just have some clips of me in the gym and I'll be voicing over explaining what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, so this particular session will be a push day. So that involves chest, triceps and shoulders, all of the pushing movements. Uh, so generally with chest day, I like to start off with a heavy compound movement. In this case, it is bench press. So, not really a strong point of mine, I'll admit. Um, trying to get my strength up in it, but yeah, I guess I could get there. But anyway, so warmed up on the bar, about 12 to 15 reps, then added 10 kilos each time, working my way up until I can't get 12 reps anymore. So I think the most I got up to on this was uh, 50 kilos for about six reps. Uh, you will have to excuse some of the angles. This was my first time using a camera in the gym. Um, so hopefully I'll get better at it. Um, one of the tips I have for bench press is just make sure your shoulders are pinned down and back and you're, you've got a bit of an arch in your back. See how there my stomach's up a little bit more? So your butt's pinned down, the feet are solid on the ground and that sets up a really good foundation so you can actually lift a fair amount of weight. I think this will be the last set where I only got six reps. Anyway, so it's a good way to fatigue the chest before going into the next exercise. Um, in this case, I don't want to go much heavier just because I am literally the only person in the gym at this stage. So there's not really much point in getting stuck under a barbell. So just grind out these last painful reps. Yep, okay. All right, so then on to my second exercise, uh, incline dumbbell press. So I just warmed up on 10 kilos for about 12 reps, and then went into about three sets of 12 reps with uh, 15 kilos. So really funny thing kind of happened. Um, because I was so focused on trying to get camera angles during the breaks of each of the sets, um, I didn't look at what I did the previous week. And the previous week I only got, I think it was maybe eight or nine reps at most. So I just kind of went ahead and did three sets of 12, which ended up being a personal record for me. So yeah, that actually worked out in my favor. Um, I think the next size up in the gym, of these dumbbells is 17.5 so probably next session I'll give that a go and see how many I can get out and then just keep on working up until I get 12 reps and increasing the weight each time so similar to bench press as long as you have your feet nice and stable on the ground slight arch see I've got that slight arch there but not too much because if you arch too much up you almost make yourself kind of like flat on the bench which is kind of making the whole point of incline useless so anyway it's good to use uh, the dumbbells every now and then as opposed to barbells just because you can get a little bit more range of motion so you can see here how I'm able to go down a little bit further and up a little bit further than what I could with the barbell so it does help for a little bit of extra control and growth with the exercise and I find that using the dumbbells can be a little bit safer um, obviously not when you're going too heavy but it is always good to have a spot um, but with the dumbbells you can always drop them off to your sides rather than yeah getting trapped under the barbell as I said before so yeah three sets 12 reps it was a grind towards the end but that's good because growth will obviously happen where you are pushing yourself um, so then I went on to dumbbell shoulder press so again I apologize for the angle I didn't realize I cut off my head in half of the exercise I'm still getting used to using the camera in the gym um, so only did three sets of 12 reps with this one um, I like to do the pushing movement with shoulder stuff first just because I do find it is a little bit more taxing by this point I am already a little bit fatigued because shoulders are used 
in bench press and especially in incline press as well. So you're already pretty tired from the first ones. Um, but it is a goal of mine to be able to use more weight in this one. So it was just three straight sets of 12 reps. And again, awkward camera position, but hopefully I'll fly, find some more flattering ones. So, and yeah, again, as opposed to with a barbell, you've just got a little bit more range of motion and more control. So I've got a slight incline with the bench. I found that that's more comfortable. Um, yeah, for me. So just to get through this set. Then I move on to a lateral raise. When I finish these reps. Yep, lateral raise. So 10 kilos. Um, now, yes, this weight is a little bit too heavy for me probably could straighten out my arms a little bit more but kind of want to just chop my shoulders as much as possible so I end up doing 12 reps with this quite heavy weight using a bit of body momentum to get it up but controlling the negative on the way down so hurt then I halved the weight just to focus more on the contraction with the exercise so another 12 reps so I did that uh, style for about three sets same thing so you can see you got a little bit more control however even though the weight's lighter it still hurts a lot so three sets of that then moved on to a low cable pulley crossover so I find that this one for me helps me to kind of target the the inner fibers of the chest. Now I know you can't f target your inner chest as such because your pec is made up of two muscles, the upper and the lower. So you can't target like let's say the, the middle or the outside. However, I find that this gives me more of a contraction in the middle and I do need to focus on kind of like activating those fibers a little bit more. Um, so, and it's a good way to get extra blood into the muscle which helps you know, shuttle nutrients around and that sort of thing. So three sets of 12 to 15, wasn't counting. Um, really focusing on the squeeze. Now see how my arms aren't completely straight, but they're not completely bent. You have to pay attention to that and really focus on actually using your chest. Otherwise you just end up doing an awkward cable curl. Anyway, uh, tricep exercise of choice, dumbbell overhead extensions. So three sets of this and 12 reps ish. Yep. So it's quite interesting actually watching myself on the video because I can see that I can probably go a little bit deeper doing this exercise. Um, but it appears that I put going a little bit heavier over having full range of motion. But this is something for my, me to note next time. I could go just a tiny bit deeper. Anyway, it's a very awkward exercise to do to even get the dumbbell in that position and then get it away from you safely. So first set was 10 kilos, 12 reps. Second set and the third set, 15 kilos for 12. Then just finished off on the V-bar cable pushdowns. So by this point, triceps are absolutely destroyed because they've been used in all the other exercises as well. So. Yeah, I find the Viva with this one is a little bit nicer to use um, on my wrists. So pretty much just did three sets of 12-ish reps. Probably surfed down the rack. Yeah, so that was my final exercise. So that was my push day. So thank you for watching. I will have like a physique update at the end of this. Um, so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Um, so. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like it, comment, like, dislike, whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, thank you.